Now the big one is Tata Motors. Sudarshan is here with the key expectations. Sudarshan. So Tata Motors has been under pressure ahead of its earnings. If you take a look at the stock performance, it's up 4% in 2024. But this week it's down 4% and it's down 31% from the record high hit on July 30th. If you remember, company had pointed about pointed out about muted global demand and constrained production at JLR level after Q1 earnings. So what do our expectations say for Q2 earnings? We are expecting a subdued set of earnings on the back of a decline in volumes. Overall volumes have fallen both sequentially and year on year. Also JLR shipments excluding China JV have declined 10% YOY. Now coming to the main numbers, Tata Motors consolidated revenue is seen falling 2% while EBITDA and margin may see a minor jump on the back of an improvement in profitability and continued healthy demand for SUVs and electric vehicles. For JLR as per limited estimate we have, expectations are of a decline in all the headline numbers, revenue and EBITDA are seen falling 7% each while margin may come in almost unchanged at 14.8%. In the comment a few things that will be watched very closely are first update related to global and domestic demand, second production and shipment situ situation at JLR and third is margin guidance that company gives for FY25 related to JLR. So earnings in all, all probability will be muted but all eyes will be on commentary related to S2 as there is an expectation of increased government spend in S2 which might help improvement in CV demand. Okay, all right. Thank you so much uh, for joining in with what to expect from Tata Motors numbers, Sudarshan, today. Uh, let's move on and get a